guys, it is Friday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. Today, I want to come in and share with you a few of the goodies that I picked up today. This is gonna be a really quick little um, haul here. I didn't pick up much, however. I did want to come in and share what I had, just in case some of you um, have been thinking about some of these same purchases. All right, so here we go. The first stop I made today was over at Nordstrom, over into Nordstrom, and I went over to the Joe Malone counter, okay? Isn't this just the cutest bag? I actually had it backwards that just the cutest little bag she really took her time and just did an amazing job in packaging this up for me and let me reach in here because I want to get her card she dropped it in here for me yes Nikki oh my gosh I'm about to butcher her name Nikki Palauchi Nikki Palauchi, I think that is it. So she is the business manager for Joe Malone in the um, Nordstrom over in Phipps Plaza here in Atlanta. Hey. I don't meet many people who have my personality. You know, I know that I can be a wee bit extra. I can't help it, that is just who I am. You guys, if you will recall, I was an elementary school teacher. Yes, I taught elementary school, so I would hope that you would want an elementary school teacher with a bubbly personality okay that was me okay and I can't just shut it off because I'm not teaching anymore so this is who I am but needless to say it is always just really refreshing when I meet someone with a similar personality a similar spirit so Nikki Palauchi Nikki Palauchi Nikki if you're watching this I asked her to watch because I told her I was going to give her a shout out. Please let me know if I pronounced your name correctly. Nikki, Nikki Palauchi. Okay. But either way, she's the business manager for Joe Malone in the Fitz Plaza location over in Nordstrom. Okay. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. If you guys are in the need for a new fragrance, do yourself a favor and head over to the Joe Malone counter. But um, look at the packaging on this, guys. I'm going to actually get up and come to the camera because I have never had my scents, my fragrances, packaged up this beautifully, okay? Like, this packaging right here is just worth you keeping the box, all right? So, what I picked up today, I don't even know because I was just so busy talking to her. Like, I can talk. Okay, I can talk. <laughs> All right, so I have the Myrrh and Tonka. Myrrh and Tonka, okay? Isn't this a gorgeous box? Jo Malone is actually unisex, okay? So, you know, this is a dark bottle. It's actually black, but I love the shape and size of the bottle. I love the color of the bottle. But when I picked it up, you know, I think she kind of noticed because again, Nikki was very observant you know just she was just a plus plus so she said just want to let you know she asked me if i had been over to joe malone before never had i and um she said well just to let you know our fragrances our scents our candles everything is all unisex and so i love you know i have different fragrances here um in my collection but i really do enjoy a strong husky scent if you will you know just a really masculine scent sometimes i think smells really sexy on us women and so that's why i picked this one up <sighs> guys again do yourself a favor if you if you are in the market for a new scent head over to Joe Malone, okay please go to the one at Phipps Plaza and see my girl Nikki if you're here in Atlanta Myrrh and Tonka Myrrh and Tonka is spelled M-Y-R-R-H. That's the first word. Myrrh and then and Tonka. T-O-N-K-A. I love, love this. Like I said, it's just a really strong masculine but still feminine scent. Okay. She also gave me several samples and then she created a scent for me. Those of you who love to layer your scents, 
Joe Malone is actually a brand, a company that specializes in, you know, layering the layering of their scents. So you can actually, let's say, I think she gave me this one or made this one up for me because she loves that you can layer this one. It's, and I said blossom and honey, but it's actually nectarine blossom and honey. So I'll be pairing these up together. And on my next trip in, who knows, maybe I will pick the blossom, the nectarine blossom and honey up. But I just can't say enough about Nikki. She's amazing. All right, guys. So staying with fragrances for a little while, I picked up Marc Jacobs Daisy. Daisy, guys. This bottle right here, I know you guys have all seen this bottle, but this bottle right here just, I don't know. If there is a bottle that signifies spring and summer, it has to be Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I picked this up. It is such a really refreshing scent. It is a complete contrast from the uh, Joe Malone scent that I purchased today also. Just really light. Just a really clean smelling scent. I want to say though, I, <laughs> I, I I purchased this for the bottle. I thought it would look really great here in my closet room on my perfume tray, but it is just the cutest bottle. And um, you know, you get the bonus, the bonus added factor of it, you know, smelling really nice. So pick this up today also. All right, so this is my last scent. I picked up the um, Spice Bomb, and this is actually for Eric, but I had to come in and talk to you guys about this. It's Victor and Roth's Spice Bomb. All right, so when I brought this home, and it's Spice Bomb, it looks like a hand grenade. Isn't that cute? It looks so good on his little cologne tray in his closet also, but just really, really cute. When I brought this home, Oh, and let him smell this we immediately said at the same time spontaneously it smells like Disney this smells like one of the stores at Disney Springs it's a spicy just really fun but still really manly scent if your spouse your significant other really loves to smell great please go and pick up Victor and Roth's spice bomb you will thank me later really oh i love that oh oh it smells so good it smells so good all right so i also picked up in nordstrom a couple of lippies my sales associates in nordstrom everybody was just on their game today everybody was just phenomenal all right so i picked up a Chanel lip gloss, another one of their um, Coco Rouge glosses. I have this one in color 716. And what is the name on this one? This one is caramel. All right, so this is caramel. And this is what it looks like. Just a really pretty nudes. I am really enjoying nudes this summer of course i tried it in in the <laughs> of course i tried it on in the store but i'll put a little bit more of it on here just a really really pretty nude it's just too hot it is too muggy um to just to do a lot of extra for me this summer so i am just really loving the nudes again this is chanel coco rouge in the number 716 and the color is caramel still in nordstrom i headed over to the dior counter and i picked up one of their dior addict um ultra glosses and this is the packaging but guys, I never would have thought that I would like this color as a gloss. I do have this color in one of Max matte lippies. I think it's heroin. Didn't heroin look like that? But um, either way, the sales associate said you should give it a try. I think it'll look really nice on you. So I did and I, I just fell in love with it, okay? So this is what the app applicator looks like. Let me wipe off. Let's see if I have 
a cotton round here and I'll take off the Chanel and try this on. Okay. That's good enough. All right, so let's see how this looks. So in the bottle, you know, it looks like it's gonna be a really deep, you know, purple. But when you put it on, it's more like a glossy wine, okay? I think it's really really cute all right so that was it for Nordstrom all right guys and I my last item I told you guys this was gonna be a really quick haul I headed over to Louis Vuitton you guys see the size of the bag so that means I have a small leather good in here all right so this is the infamous Louis Vuitton envelope it houses my receipt okay we are all familiar with that and I won't make a big fuss out of this because I, of course, have already seen this. But the packaging, always really, really amazing and breathtaking. You open your box, okay? All right, love that little drawer, all right? And then inside of the drawer, you have your dust bag. One day I will get my lighting <laughs> correct for you guys, all right? and you open it up and here on the inside guys i purchased the emily wallet isn't she just a thing of beauty okay so this obviously is the emily wallet in the monogram print loving it loving it loving it all right i wanted to bring out my josephine wallet in the dummy a e bean print just to give you guys a little bit of a size comparison they are just about identical in size all right now what i love about the josephine wallet which, which i've had for some time now is the fact that with the josephine wallet you of course have the colored little button opening closure here but i love that it comes with another small leather good on the inside you could absolutely use this for change and other little small items so that um, so this little item here, this small little leather good here comes inside of the Josephine wallet. So I loved that about this particular wallet, but um, I didn't want to get this one again. You know, I'm really trying to be a little bit more adventurous with my luxury purchases here lately. So I went with the Emily, but just a really pretty um, wallet also in its own right. I love here that this button is in the fuchsia color and my Josephine wallet, not sure if you guys can tell, has the red button with the red, really pretty red interior, okay? The Emily wallet has the fuchsia button here with the fuchsia interior um, like i said you do not get a small leather good with the emily wallet but it's just really pretty you have let's see this is one or two four slots here for credit cards plenty for me you have a zippered opening don't you just love the way the louis vuitton zippers just open and close with very little effort just love that sound uh let's see there's a slot in here for different odds and ends. There's another slot there, and then finally a slot here, uh, right here in the back. There is no zipper closure on the back, but um, I just really, really love, love this little wallet. My sales associate and I were in there I won't say forever, but we were kind of going back and forth for a little while trying to decide which wallet, which color, which size, which style would be, you know, my next best option. I will say that they also have the Emily wallet in the pink. It's a really pretty 
Um, I, now I won't say pastel, but somewhere in the middle of a pastel and a really true pink. Just a really cute wallet. So who knows? Maybe I'll get it in the pink color next. But yeah, I am just so thrilled with my purchase today. I am already loving my Emily wallet. Just looking forward to finding a place for it here in my closet room. Loving this fuchsia color. I think it is just perfect. It's a perfect color all year round. I love the way that... I don't know it's kind of similar to you know the red here of the Josephine but it's just a really vibrant pretty color vibrant pretty color in its own right just a really really pretty just a really you guys know Louis Vuitton just their stuff it's just just very good quality you know that you're gonna have it for years and years to come so yeah just really happy with my purchase today well that is it guys thanks again for stopping in and hanging out with me for a little while today i hope that you have enjoyed this video this little haul of items that i picked up for today and i will see you all in the next video bye guys